here we go here we go here we go press the right buttons there we go hello secret vault here and uh yeah for anybody who's wondering i kind of it kind of did this show last night when i was with alex it was like a forerunner of it i had a good old rant about you know who mr hooper but um yeah it was on alex's show so unless i copy that show and upload it on here it it doesn't really serve much of a purpose to people who want to see it on here mm. so um yeah uh, i've invited a few people god there's a huge horrible spider outside my window it's been there for ages it lives there it always frightens me when i see it Ugh. it's made its nest there its web because of course there's light coming through my window so all the flies just come there and that's getting bigger and bigger and it's just like disgusting um yeah anyway it, it, trivial news other trivial news um i've been busy today look fixing fixing my uh my orange camos they now have velcro pockets so things won't fall out of them so i won't lose pounds and pounds and pounds of money anyway that's irrelevant but yeah, I was using my sewing machine this afternoon, so yeah, feeling good for myself. Been out, mowed the lawn, and um, yeah, done a load of load of things I've been needing to do for the last couple of days. So, just get my shit in order. Um, Got to go tomorrow to Gareth's uh, wake and sort of service in Swansea. So Gareth uh, Mindset Central. Um, that's tomorrow, two o'clock, Saint Thomas Church in Swansea. Uh, so yeah um there's a couple of people going down there that we know so you know anyway uh what else is there uh, just trying to think now uh apparently ben benno must be shitting himself because he's created a second channel for his more extreme videos what like you think that youtube are actually going to cotton on to what you're doing and shut your channel down if you're not careful no shit really yeah Mm. Yeah, taking you a long time to kind of realise uh, the stupidity of some of your actions, but okay, uh, getting there slowly, I suppose, getting there slowly. Um, anyway, say hello to some of the people in the chat channel. We've got Andrew Clark, J2469, Dan Did Not, um, or it might be Dan Did New. I don't know if he's if he says it posh. Marsh Tr Mark Trom, Traum, Trum, Mark Urbex. The Jonesies. Oh, hello. Screen just, just jumped up as it does. It sits there for ages and then you start to scroll down and it goes 20 pages down. And it scrolls down all the people. So, um, hang on. Uh, Andrew Clark, Welsh Mate Lot. Matt -a Lot. Mate Lot. Anyway, Pompey Explores and Gaming. Um, Richard Morland, Darren McKinney, Neil. Lloydy Pops. Some of these names, God, they get me sometimes. They're a bit of a tongue twister. Louise Summers, Nanbread, Smoky Prey, Susan from Lost Souls Exploring, uh, Bandit Darville, Bob Bridger, Jess Matthews, Andy 2E0 LPA, um, Jamie L, Smitty AVFC, Felicity Knox, Rapid Man, Carol Gill, Leon Barrow, Julie Twidle, Daniel Ullock, Dazzy84, L Rose, Jackie Green's Cats and Things. Uh, Haunted Coachman, Michael McC McKernan, uh, Lee McSpanner, Andrew Clark, oh, yeah, I've done Andrew Clark, Lee Ellis, Steve Ellis, sorry, Lee Bridgewater, Corsitis, Common Sense, um, Minisaurus, Loopy Lou, uh, Hunting Hunters, Rapid Man, um, yeah, Tim the Pigeon Pastor, Master, Unknown, yeah, Lee, uh, Simon B. A. Ian E. Mick Spanner, God alive, Captain Caveman, Anthony Strange, Louis James. Oh, it's just jumped again. Right, I'm gonna keep it down here then. So, Stuart Griffiths, Sea Viewer, Laura Meltz. Um, yeah, how come Laura? How come Laura is not a moderator? on here 
That makes me think that's not Laura. Hang on. Let me just check, because these fucking trolls, they honestly are a waste of fucking space. Hang on. Um, oh, yeah. Are you on my um, chat? Because uh, you are not coming up as a moderator, which makes me think it's not you. So we'll have an answer to that one very quickly, won't we? Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Um, the Playboy Master, uh, Mac, Andrew Clark, um yeah so there we go uh it's me you never were a mod oh you never was a mod okay well i'll put you as a mod now then really you never were a mod i always thought you were a mod okay well there we are that sorts that one out then ah so uh yeah right matt hooper for anyone that, that hasn't um sort of like caught up on the the, the video we did and we got 291 watching, so hello 291 of you. Um, minus one, so 290 because there's one dislike, so 290, hello. Um, yeah, basically this guy Matt Hooper, if you watch the video, he's the guy that was taking photos of our cars when we were going to destinations in London, Urbex destinations, and then he was sending photos of these, uh, of our cars, mine, Steve's, I think Alex as well, and when he was uh, taking these photos, he was sending increasingly threatening messages. It started off like, here's your car, send. And then it was like, here's someone else's car, like Steve's. And it's like, if I see you in London again, I'm going to report you to the police. And it's like, yeah. And then it got to the point where he was sending messages to Benno, because Benno was uh, hanging around with us and he was saying, if you hang around with that Matt Williams, um, I'm going to sort of screw you up sort of thing. I'm going to, you know, do things to you and screw you up. So basically threatening, threatening type behaviour. So he'd actually threatened to report us to the police, you know, and I couldn't work out quite what that meant because it's like, well, how come we're going to get reported to the police for doing exactly the same thing as you're doing, Mr. Hooper? Because all we're doing is going and visiting bunkers. And, uh, you know, so, so what exactly are we doing that's worthy of being reported to police? But there we go. On the night in question, what did he do? He saw that we were in this bunker. God knows how he knew we were there. But he saw we were in this bunker. He called up the police, told them that we were terrorists trying to get into the London Underground. That caused the police to come in large numbers. Yeah. Even though this particular, um, this particular um, underground deep level shelter, although it's close to the London Underground and you can hear the London Underground trains rattling above you, it doesn't connect to the London Underground. So there is no way to get in there. So this whole concept of like we were terrorists trying to get into the London, London Underground is just a load of old bollocks. But nonetheless, the police came out in force, and as you saw in the video, we were I was at the bottom of the stairs with Jordan. At the top of the stairs was Glenn and Benno, and uh, they came out of the of a doorway. I think Glenn was going to go and get something from his his vehicle, so they opened the door and stepped out, and you know, lots of police officers were standing there, shining torches and with tasers drawn. It's like get down on the floor, get down on the floor. So they got down on the floor they were handcuffed then they were questioned as to what they were doing there and then you know very quickly the police managed to ascertain well these don't appear to be terrorists these are just guys exploring an underground bunker and meanwhile the whole time this was going on Matt Hooper was captured on Jordan's dash cam because Jordan was parked behind my car just in front of the... Well, my car was in front of the lane. Jordan's was back from the lane. So all of the activities of the police coming and going from this lane to this bunker and Matt Hooper himself were caught on Jordan's webcam. So absolutely disgraceful behaviour. And he was obsessing and obsessing over my car. And, you know, right from the start, he was like taking photos of my car and then he was um, calling the police and walking up and down, speaking to them. And it's like, yes, you better get here now. It's, it's very serious. Terrorists, terrorists, get here now. 
it's it's all kicking off. Yeah, terrorists. You better get here. And it's like, and ten minutes later, the police turned up. Oh. And um, once there was some sort of activity where the police had caught somebody, which was Glenn and Benno, that had come out of this door. Yeah. Once that had happened, you see that Matt Hooper dashes off. You know, he's wearing a mask by now because he doesn't want to be spotted for his bullshit behaviour. But he disappears off. And, um, yeah, so all round, utter shit show. Now, I think that potentially he was after myself. Um, he'd, all, he'd made a threat to Benno as well, which was interesting. He had made a threat to Benno. If you hang around with Matt Williams anymore, you know, I will do stuff to you you know it's kind of like I will you know it was basically threatening I can't remember the exact words that were used but it was a threatening kind of message that was sent and um, yeah basically uh, you know on the night that's right yeah I'm going let's go forward in time then so on the night in question Mr Hooper denies that it was him that called the police but a couple of things come into line, as far as I'm concerned, for for showing that this was him, right? Well, there's the footage on Jordan's camera, for one. Secondly, I told Benno, Jordan and Glenn not to mention anything about the police activity at that bunker that night, okay? I told them, don't say anything to anybody, okay? And let's see whether or not Matt can hold his mouth shut because I don't think he will be able to and I said I bet you he'll surface and say something about knowing what happened with the arrests and that's exactly what happened right so he surfaced one day later 24 hours later and sent a photo of my car yet again a photo of my car to Benno saying was Matt Williams arrested last night at the bunker yeah and when Benno said, uh, well, actually, it was me and Glenn got arrested. And, uh, you know, was it you that, that reported it? And he's like, no, it wasn't me. And he said, well, how come you got a photo then? Oh, my friend sent me the photo. What a load of bullshit, right? Why would people, just random people who haven't got any axe to grind with me, Jordan, and the rest of them, why would they be taking photos of my car, why would they even know my car? You know, why would they even know what car I've got? Okay, so the same person who's been taking photos all along takes a photo on the night, sends notification to Benno that he knew they'd been in an arrest, yeah, and then he's telling everybody, no, it wasn't him. And there he is on the fucking dash cam, fretting, fretting, uh, uh, you know, you can see that you can see the level of tension and aggression, you know, kind of like pent up, pent up aggression. The way he's walking across the road, stomping around, stomping. It's not like normal, normal sort of walking. It's like stomping around like anger, anger, just uh, pure anger that, you know, my car is there, you know, and that I am in the bunker and, and, and he's going to stop me. And it's like, yeah, so that's what he did. Absolutely, a complete and utter twat. So yeah, I think um, some some people I know have got the uh, the link if they want to come in. I might. Um, yeah, Alex says he's just waiting for a takeaway. <laughs> I'll say uh, probably probably live until about eight thirty. I expect so. Yeah, um, I don't want to make. I don't want to labour the point, but yeah. Somebody's saying, somebody reckons that Benno told Matt Hooper that we were there. It's an interesting point, actually. Okay. Now, I've added, I've mentioned this to Jordan, but I've got no, I've got no proof of this at all. Okay. But, um, Benno was saying that Matt Hooper was continually putting pressure on him to agree not to hang around with me for some reason. Right. And it was it was getting th it was threatening in nature, and Benno kept on about this and kept on about this. Now that here's the thing, I I've heard uh, that Benno is very easy to push around with threats. Okay, 
even though you know what happened with me and Benno happened right Benno likes dealing out the threats but Benno is also easy to manipulate through threats okay and I was told this and if it's true it might explain why an unusual thing happened which which to me boggles my mind right Benno after all this had happened right and you know he's had tasers pointed at him he's been arrested Benno and uh, Glenn were given COVID fines, right? After all that, yeah, and him knowing full well it was it was uh, Matt Hooper who'd done it because Matt Hooper had sent him the message saying, oh, I know people were arrested there, another photo of the car. If it isn't blatantly bloody obvious, right, and the footage from Jordan's webcam, if it isn't blatantly obvious to Benno at that point, that that's Matt Hooper that did that, right? If he can't see that, I'm thinking, you know, the guy's an imbecile if he can't see that. But knowing that he knew that then, let's give it the, you know, he knows it was Matt Hooper who did that and was making threats to him prior to this event happening, was making threats to Benno, right? And then this event happens, boom, right? Why is it... That there's a video on Benno's channel, and I think he called it something like the something clipper, as in like a clipper ship or something like that. And um, he's basically picking up Jordan from a jetty with his boat, with his little inflatable boat. So he's like, Nee-e-e-e. and he pulls up and picks up Jordan. And Jordan gets on the boat, and Jordan thinks that it's just going to be a day out with Benno and Jordan. Because that's what Jordan was told by Benno. It's going to be a day out with me and you on the boat. So Benno sails his little boat up the up the canal, up the, the river rather. And he stops at the next jetty. And Benno gets off. Goes and opens a gate. And who comes down that, that gang plank? Who comes down the planks onto the jetty and onto the boat? None other than Matthew Hooper. Yeah, so how come if Matt Hooper has done a real big curly-whirly 99 flake shit on your head, Mr. Benno, would you then invite him to come on your boat for a little ridey-widey down the river on your boat? Why would you do that? Why would you fucking do that for somebody who just got you in a load of fucking trouble? Why? Why would you do that? Now, I've heard a, a couple of ideas of possibilities on this from, from a few people. And one of them is that, you know, he's basically easy to manipulate, easy to push around. And that Matt Hooper has some sort of hold on him. Right, that's one possibility. The other possibility, which I find hard to believe, but we are dealing with somebody who's got Asperger's here, so you know, normal, sometimes normal common sense thinking may just go out the window, yeah, because he just literally doesn't connect. This is the guy that shit on me, maybe I shouldn't go out with him. You know, I mean, like to you or I, this would make perfect sense. This is the guy that shit on me. Maybe I shouldn't go out with him. Yeah, it it seems to be like normal common sense. But apparently, potentially, for some people who got Asperger's, this is the guy that shat on me. Oh, well, never mind. Let's go out and be friends with them and take them on my boat. Because they don't sometimes connect things the way that you or I would right so but it does kind of make me think as well maybe there's more going on here than meets the eye because Benno is quite a manipulator he's quite a manipulative personality hmm and Mr. Benno has shown quite a large amount of jealousy, overt, not hidden, right? 
he's mentioned it to Jordan a number of times. Pissed off that Jordan has gone out on explores with me and why wasn't he invited? And it's like, well, you know what? He should know from me because I've told him why I won't invite him. It's because he's a pain in the arse. Yeah? But Jordan is is a, he's an adult. He's allowed to make his mind up who he goes out with under what circumstances. And I think Jordan had had a bloody guts full of Benno's bullshit and domineering, manipulating, moaning and complaining like that, that Jordan's had so much of a guts full of it, he just wanted to have time off, away from Benno. But oh no, Mr. Benno was having a, a meltdown over this, right? And a lot of this stuff happened, a lot of this stuff happened because I was getting friendlier with jo Jordan, right? Now, it's like, I don't know if we can translate that further back to when this happened because I didn't really know Jordan that well back then when this Hooper thing happened but I don't know all I'm saying is it's not that as a possibility is not off the table so I just don't know mm. yeah uh, Ducks Go Quack says I bet Benno was at all the locations where Matt Carr had photos taken of it or Benno knew you and Jordan were going there and was sour about it well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it was a while back as well. This is the thing. It's This happened nine months ago, and I did tell people about it at the time, right? So if anybody's wondering why it's taken nine months to put the video out, um, or, there's no actual real reason apart from it's just so depressing having to look at a video and, and put it together. And I had the video ready nine months ago. But it wasn't finished and I had to polish it up. And whenever I was looking at it, I just couldn't bring myself to finish it because it was just like, oh, ugh. you know, you know, like because it's literally you're delving. It's like swimming in a in a swimming pool full of cow shit. You know, it's not not something you really enjoy doing. So, you know, I don't really uh, I didn't really want to sort of keep on looking at it. And it's taken me until now and a lot of other shit going on with the, with the Benno situation and a lot of other things. And I'm like, I've got to do it. I've got to get this out now. I've got to get it out. You know, it's taken way too long and I've just got to get it out, just clear it out, let everybody know what happened and just be done with it, you know. And of course, at the time, at the time when this was being talked about first... Matt Hooper's reaction to me telling people that he did all this, Matt Hooper's reaction was quite out there, yeah? I don't know if many of you remember, but he did all sorts of things. He said he was going to get a restraining order against me. He said he had now got a restraining order against me, but I never saw any paperwork or anything relating to it, because if it was true... Uh, he said, I wouldn't be allowed to talk about him on YouTube or any other platform or anything. Otherwise, I'll go straight to jail. But it didn't stop me talking about him. So he's a bullshit artist, right? He's a bullshit artist who tries it on. Right? He said that he said that he had spoken to his brother-in-law, who was a police officer. This is Matt Hooper said this now. Uh, who was a police officer who had looked into the, the police's computer system and it wasn't him that had made the call. Well, the funny thing is, I made a complaint. I made a complaint to the to a various number of police forces about this, and I said, I want to know whether this guy, Matt Hooper, has a relative working in the police because he's accessing the computer system for these ends. Yeah, so I made a full-blown complaint about that. In fact, one of the complaints is still ongoing because they're still looking into it. Mm. So, yeah. Steve Ellis says you have to go to court for a restraining order and the person who you are putting the restraining order on usually has to be informed about this because they can come to court to represent themselves in case there's any shenanigans going on, you know, and they don't want to go putting restraining orders on people when there's no good reason. Now, if I had been informed about this, I, of course, I would have gone to court and I would have fought it. 
and I would have, you know, told them the reason why I felt it was justified to tell people and warn people about this. And, of course, there was no court order. So this Matt Hooper is a bullshit artist. So what he started doing then, he started changing his channel name. Do you remember that? Now, I'm not going to tell you what his channel name is because I do not want to drive any more people across to his channel. OK, so if you know what it is, don't put it in the comments. And if you see it in the comments, anyone take it out. You know, it'll be removed from the comments because I do not want a repeat performance of what happened with Swin Swindon Spastic. Yeah, right. Because that little idiot, right, got a lot of people subscribing to his channel because they just wanted to see what sort of shit would develop from him. And it's like, I don't want this guy getting any subscribers. I think the last last thing I looked, he only had like, was it like 500 subscribers? This guy, um, uh, Matt Hooper. And some of his, some of his videos, I mean, like, they, they, like he's had a video up for a month and he's got 29 views, right? So as far as I'm concerned, um, and I don't care if you think I'm being a bit of a mean bastard by saying this, I think he's a fucking failure. He's a YouTube failure. He's a classic example of somebody who can't film, can't edit, can't even spell, right? And just makes an absolute pig's ear of everything he fucking does, yeah? But, and he's got no subscribers because his channel looks shit, you know? It's, it's amateur, it's childish, it's crap, you know? So... Now, I, I'd never really bumped into this guy, Matt Hooper, right? The closest I've ever come to him was in a bunker in London, whereby I, I walked past him and I went, all right, mate, like that. And Steve, Ray and Alex stopped and talked to him whilst I was walking up the spiral staircase. And, and this Matt Hooper said, oh, was that Matt Williams' secret vault? And they went, yep. And he said, "Oh, I would have liked to. Have, I would have liked to have spoken to him." And it was that night, that very night, that Matt Hooper was taking photos of Steve's car, and sent those photos in a kind of pseudo-threatening manner to Steve later on. So, you want to meet and have a chat with me, do you? But you're going to take photos of people's car, cars on the very same night. That's as close as I've ever come to this bloke, right? Now, Steve and Ray and Alex will confirm that they were sent these photos of their cars with kind of pseudo-threatening um, messages associated with them, right? So that's the closest I've ever come to this Matt Hooper. I don't know who he is, right? But I was quite surprised because when I mentioned his name to a couple of other people including Taffy, who may or may not pop on. <laughs> Come on, Taffy! Come on, he's got the he's got the link, I think. Um, let me just make sure he has got the link. Because um, Taffy will have something to say about this guy. He did last time I talked about him. Because Mr Hooper has a little bit of a reputation for himself. Now, I didn't know this, right? Because when all this shit was going on, between him sending these photos to... Steve and Ray and Alex and then Benno to get to me you know sending these photos through Benno to sort of like you know uh, get get attention that way I didn't know what sort of person he was and I didn't know what he was about but when I mentioned his name to uh, Taffy and also to Dan Dixon I remember I was having a conversation with Dan Dixon and Dan you know he, he's always saying to me oh Matt you know you don't want to be going on about this drama, which is exactly what I'm doing here now. You don't want to be going on about this drama and stuff because um, it might sort of impinge, it might damage your channel, you know, because people don't really want to see that. They don't, um, you know, uh, Taffy's gone, is he? Oh, I'll send him a message. I'll say, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on now. Uh he, he might come on. He said he wasn't um he wasn't feeling very well, so uh but come now, Taffy. You know you feel better when you come on these live streams. <laughs> so um anyway, where was I? Right. 
Dan is always saying to me, Matt, you shouldn't really say these things. It's just his opinion. It's not good for my channel. That's what he says. And like I've talked to him about a few instances of things that have happened, like with Swindon Spastic. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he says, I'm not really feeling it at all. It's like, but Taffy, we love you. All your fans are asking about you. They said, come now. <laughs> all right, mate. Oh, bless him. Um, but yeah, the funny thing is, uh, even though Dan was like trying to say, you know, like, come on, you've had, you know, you had this business with this like Swindon Spastic and, you know, you've had like, various other people have had a little pop at you and just leave it he was like just leave it don't don't bother with it with these people and i was i was describing to him the scenarios of what happened the bunker everything that happened the police had been called out but i hadn't mentioned a name i'd left one key thing out i hadn't mentioned the name of the person and when i said to dan on the phone I was like, yeah, yeah, he called the police, said he was terrorist. He's like, oh, leave it, Matt, leave it. I said, yeah, yeah. And his his name is Matt Hooper. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How are you doing, man? Well, I'm, I'm happy now because you're, you're here. We, we yeah, don't, mate. We don't like to hear that you're like, no, I fucking can't die in my life. You know, right? <laughs> I was supposed to have my assessment stay when I, but they cancelled on me, so. So you'll have to have I'm me. I'm a bit. Have me instead, look. We'll assess you. Yeah, that, that mate, I, I, I'm into a bit of incest, mate. So, Welsh and no, Welsh, like, we're all right. I, no, assess, not in, <laughs> not incest. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's from North Wales. <laughs> Just forgive him, folks. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But... Mm -hmm. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, t I just just finished the end of the story because it absolutely dovetails, like dovetails perfectly into where you come into this, right? I was chatting oh. to Dan, and and I said like, you know, oh, this guy he rang the police, said we were terrorists. It was like tasers were drawn, da da da. And Dan was like, oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah, whatever. Yeah, I wouldn't bother with it, Matt man. And I said, yeah, his his name is Matt Hooper, and he went, you what? You fucking Matt Hooper? And I went, yeah. I said, oh, fuck's sake. And I was like, what, you know him? And he's like, fucking know him? I fucking can't stand him. Fucking. And I went, really? And I said, well, I was going to do a live stream about it. And, and I didn't think you'd want to come on. He goes, mate, for Matt Hooper, I will come on your live stream. And Dan did. Oh, mate. And he did. That's amazing. Yeah. No and, way. Because Dan didn't, normally doesn't like to go into the sort of like drama online sort of thing. Yeah. No, but he said, for I'm this guy. Online. For this guy, I will make an exception, he said, because he's so pissed off. So the thing is, this is what... I didn't realise all this stuff had gone on in, in the history, you know, in the past, and Dan knew him. I, I've but, had a bit of running ins with him myself, mate. But guess who else knows him, you see? Dovetail. I know Dovetail. him, and he used to <laughs> live about 45 miles from here, just on the border of Wales, just as you come into Wales. Um, my mate... Um, if you want to go and drop a message on Instagram, uh, powered by Greta, as in Greta, whatever her name is, Greta Thunder, right? Thunder C, yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Now he's got um, Mark II Focus, right? It's all rally mm -hmm. spec, so you can't miss it. Uh, he actually went live on Facebook, jumped in his car, drove all the way to his house, banged on the door, kicked hell out of the door. Right, the video's on there somewhere. I can't remember where, but it's definitely wow. on Facebook somewhere. Right, he shouted through the letterbox, "If you don't get moving in the next twenty-four hours, I'm going to kill you." Uh, about five minutes later, the police turned up, so it's all on this live. Um, my mate said to me, "Well, to the police and what have you, um, basically that he's threatened him. Uh, he phoned the police on him when he was in a location." Uh, wasting police time, he can't be dealing with it, and then found out that he was into um, children. So that was the main reason. I've never he heard that. Went there. I've never yeah, heard that before. It's, it is there. It is there, but you need to do some digging on Facebook. Um, obviously, I'll send you his name. Sure. Um, and you can Google it. You might be able to find the live. It was about. 
two years ago, I think it was. Jesus. But you should be able to find it. It's still, it definitely, like, oh, excuse me, one million percent is still on Facebook. Um, I can message him. Um, and I well, I've I already messaged him months and months ago when you first told me about this, right. and I said, "Oh, do you want me to get my mate to ring you?" And it was just like, you know, he was like, "Oh, just no for Urbex or leave it, you know, it's fine. He'll have his upcomings." But then, someone that I know very well sent me all his details of work and his house address. So my mate is actually planning on going to his house. So. Watch what you're doing, Mr. Urban Fox. Ooh. He's coming oh, to get you. Shush, 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 shush. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah it's all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. It's all right. I didn't it's, realize, all right. Um, it's, it's okay. When you said his first name and that, I thought yeah, everyone no, would no. knew. No, I'm not. I'm, 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 sorry, I'm not mate. telling. No, it's, it's all right. Don't worry about it. But I, I specifically am <laughs> not trying. I don't think there's enough there. You, you haven't given enough away for people no, to no. work out work out who he is but the thing is i don't really want to give him any more traffic across to his channel because literally as of like yesterday he's been putting videos up like a month ago and it got 29 views you know what i mean and he's only got like 500 subscribers he's been on there like donkey's years like five years or something like that i he mean do it. he only does um pictures really yeah. um he just reminds me of those 28 gays later yeah. Sorry, Matt. No offense. No pun intended. No, no. Right? You go right ahead when that's Jump concerned. In. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But... So uh, you know the twenty-eight fist is later. Yeah. Yes. Jump in. Yeah. Um, yeah. He just reminds me of them. Like you know, takes a piss out of those goon tubers. Do you know what I mean? And um, that's it. I, well... I can deal with that because, like, I've been going for three years, and on average, I'm hitting a thousand subscribers a year. Yeah. So, and on my second channel, that's been going 12 months next month. No, mm. this month, I've just hit 2,370 subscribers. Well, I mean, keep going because it, it gets, you know, you get more and more and more. And I mean, like, I was surprised they, at my, my peak, I was getting 1,500 subscribers a month. Right. And what? it's down. Yeah, I know. And that's it's down, amazing. I know. It, it, it's leveled off more about 1,000. But at the moment, it's down at six hundred and fifty subscribers a month, and you know, like when you when that's you know, all right though because of where you are. Yeah, and I mean the thing is, a lot of people seems you know they seem to be like really upset. You know the fact that some people out there have got success like Dan and you know maybe yeah, me like, to you a know degree. Why? It's you know? never been for me right mm -hmm. how many subscribers that I have right. But it's always been about my subscribers. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not what I want because it's not me that watches them over mm. and over again. Do you know what I mean? My subscribers, I wouldn't be where I am now if it weren't for my subscribers, you know? Yeah. And you know how blunt I am, mate. I couldn't give a monkey, do you know what I mean? But things are going to be changing on my channel quite rapid. Um, when I come back, but, um, I'm dropping a live stream on a Friday so that I can go and see um, EWC, yeah. right? Because I never get to go on his anymore. Do you know what I mean? And I'm I'm pretty wounded about it. So um, I'm hoping to make more of an appearance on his. Mm. Um, but I'm going to, obviously in the chat and stuff, but um, I'm just going to stick to my Monday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. But... That's not happening for a while yet anyway. It'll probably be somewhere like end of the month or something. Yeah. But I, I heard this story, you know, what what you, what you said about this guy. Sorry. Mm. I'll be the snuff. Put her down. No, put her on the floor, please. Thank you. Twins are like, you know, trying to like roll around, trying to eat like a uh, spag ball. And then... Uh, it's going to fall. The oldest. That, yeah. Oh, mate. Katie, right, the little girl, yeah, she had egg and uh, toast this morning for breakfast. All right. It's six months old, mate. It's oh. amazing, isn't it? Mm hmm Yeah, oh, oh. she loved it. She was yeah. like, nom, 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 just like chewing hell out of it, like. Right. And she demolished it, like, half a slice of toast and half an egg. Mm. So, can't wound it that, can you? Mm. yeah. Good eater, mate. But yeah. Anyway, sorry. Back to no, back okay. uh, in the room. Back back to the back <laughs> to the back to the swimming pool full of uh, cow shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's it. The guy uh, who steers the ship bolt licks a spoon, right? Well, yeah. <laughs>
Keith Jif Griffiths has just subscribed to us, so thank you, Keith. Um, oh, thank you very much, buddy. Yeah. So we got um, this situation where, you know, this guy, Matt Hooper, has pissed a lot of people off, including, you know, Taffy's friend and Dan. And oh, yeah. I, I, I've heard from a few people, I won't say from, from where, but I've heard from a few people that, like, people have gone mental over this this guy because he's not your normal sort of normal sort of person really i mean like a lot of people you can just go like ah screw you like you know but this guy he does yeah, so he much seems to get underneath your nerve and makes it a raw nerve that you can't just flick off yeah because he just he reminds me of thrush mate mm. he's just an irritating cunt <laughs> Do you know what yes. I mean? And that is it. I can't. There's, there's one word to describe him, and that is this thrush, mate. Yeah. And that's it. Do you know what I mean? You can't put any other thing to it. Like, he's mm. just an irritating cunt, mate. You know what but, I mean? And it, it doesn't, like, I know I piss people off, right? But I just think it's funny. Do you know what I mean I do it yeah, on purpose? You're, job, you're but not out to he, destroy he, people. I mean, like he, no, this, no. this Matt Hooper is no. on his he's on a mission to no, cause sh major shit oh, for people. Him. He, he started know. like World War Ten. He's literally you know. like you said before on your live about forty minutes ago that he uh, rang the police and said that you were mm. um, terrorists and that, mate. In a bunker, mate, yeah. Imagine if they come to me with my beard and I have my bandana on. I look like a fucking Muslim. Mm. I would have been sent to jail, mate, until they'd sorted that out. Yeah. Can but, you imagine? I would have come you... out, mate. I'd gone straight back to jail within 24 hours because I probably would have killed him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? As cruel as that is, but, you know, I always... Do you know what I mean? Like, now I can't because, obviously, I've, I've got it all braided and that at the minute. Do you know what I mean? I've been a bit gay, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But can you imagine normally, right, if I had my, my green bandana on and then I, I come in in my combats like I normally do, right? Yeah. Can you imagine, right? They would have been going, open your jacket, open your jacket, because they thought I'd have had a bomb on me. Can you imagine mm. how much stress that would have caused all of us, never mind myself, yeah, being yeah. depressed? I mean, the Do thing you is, mean, if, if, you you get, if you get accused of that sort of thing, they'll be in your house, they'll be pulling everything apart, you oh, know what I mean? And it's it. like, I go back you know, to no, no. that sort of thing is known as, like, swatting. They call it swatting. What somebody does is they mm. ring up the police and they say, like, oh, he's got arms in his house, you know, he's got he's got weapons and arms and stuff like that. And the police come round and they're like, yeah, look, you know. Yeah, and then they ravage everything. And if they can make something out of that, you know, put two and two together and get five, mate. You're getting yeah. convicted, like, yeah. You know, so you know, I, the... I, I'm not no good, mate. You, you know, yeah. You, you, every well, I don't know about everyone, but you only need a bottle of bleach, mate, and a few of uh, like home bits, mate, in your house, mate, and it's game over. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to go into that fully because that's not right. Do you know what I mean? It's not my channel. Do you know what I mean? But you mm. know, a bottle of bleach, mate. Near enough, every single household has a bottle of bleach, mate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you could make something, mate. Do you know what I mean? Uh, uh, as cruel as that is, do you know what I mean? They only have to put two and two together, mate. Like I said, do you know what I yeah. mean? You're down the nick, mate. You're gone for 72 hours, and it? You're off to spend a few years in uh, Her Majesty's Pleasure, like. Yeah. Well, you know the mean? thing is, they probably wouldn't be able to make anything stick like that. But it is, like you say, you know, for things like no, ter terror charges, they'll keep you in for an extended period, like 72 hours. They keep you in yeah, days. Yeah, they will, yeah. You know? Yeah, they will, mate, and they're not going to mess around. Because um, on my last charge, right, um, mm. they were going to release me on 23 and a half hours, but they got, um, they got an extension to keep me for a further 48 hours. Bloody hell. Well, so they literally ransacked my house, mate. Do you know what I mean? And then got my car, took my phone, took everything. Yeah? And then when it all come back, do you know what I mean? And not obviously, like, they had nothing to stick by. I still went to court, but it went from one one charge to a very low form of that charge. Do you know what I mean? So I was looking at a 15-year sentence for what I did. Do you know what I mean? But I can't, I'm not going to go into it on here. But no, do you know what no. I mean? It, I think, you know, I think... I, but that's what I'm saying, right, about... 
they, they try and stick everything on you and, and they just keep throwing it, keep throwing it, keep throwing it. Eventually, mm. something sticks, mate. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it, it, you. It's, um, it, it's ridiculous, mate. Thank you, Starkey, for your £5 donation. Very kind, yeah. Oh, thank you well, very much. It does help the channel out loads, so yeah, thank you. It does indeed. So so the thing is then, right, I mean, basically, going back to important points then, he did to your friend what he's done to us. Yeah. He, he rang yeah. the police when this guy was in a bunker, you said. So he's done this before uh, to yeah. other people. Um, I don't think it was a bunker. But On it was an explore. Definitely military. No, no, it was a military Right, but it was an abandoned military. Um, now, my mate's quite clever, right? He hides his car well away from where he is, and he would rather walk two miles than walk two minutes down the road. Do mm. you know what I mean? So, we, you know, he's quite, you know, on it like that. So, you know, we've been, we were really lucky that he never got his number plate at the time. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, I think he would have gone down the same route as what you did. Um, mm. and then obviously he turned, my mate turned up at his house and he was like kicking hell out of the door. He was just literally banging on the windows. He said that he could hear the TV on. And then when he looked, listened through the letterbox, the TV and that was switched off. And then all of a sudden the police turned up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so, is it, so he's a it, right, he's a right coward because he likes calling the police and sort of like pointing fingers oh, yeah, at people. He'll run. He will run me, and I'm telling you, he won't mm. stick around. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, like I, I've got a similar, not a similar problem, but I have another problem with another Airbex, uh, uh, another best friend of yours, but we won't mention no names. But, yeah, yeah. like, that person needs shutting up as well, like, but I can't really talk about that on here. Bloody hell. Do you know what I mean? I don't really yeah. know. I well, don't you know really what, know much. Exactly who it is, mate. Because every time he donates, you just send it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You said a friend of mine. Now, come on, Taffy. There's a difference, right? I know, I, mate. You know yeah, my he's not. He's not, he's not a friend amazing. of mine. Yeah, he's not a friend oh, of mine. Oh, no, no. Absolute not, mate. Yeah. Um, definitely not a friend of yours. He's um, not, he's not worth not, losing your shit no. over. He's not oh no, it. he's not. But the thing is, um, people can't think that they get away with it. Bec uh, but the way that you got to look at it is, if you leave it right for twelve months or even two years, right, they forget about it because they've only got small minds, right? But what they don't understand is, the longer it is, the worse it's going to be for them. Mm. And they need to stop stirring the shit pot, mate. Basically. Back to sort of like this guy then, you know, what 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 exactly did he do then? He rang the police and got the police to come to this um, military yeah, base so, when this guy was there. Yeah, right. So basically he turned... A abandoned military like, base. My mate was just exploring. Yeah, he was just exploring. Um, and then um, obviously they were talking for a while. Um, and then my mate put it on, on one of the Airbag sites. Um, does anyone know this, Matthew? Um, Hooper. And well, I'm thanks, like, oh, thanks, yeah, Chris. you know. Thank um, you for your donation. You know, thank right. you, mate. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah. so, so you put it on a yeah, forum, yeah? It, yeah, on a forum, who he was, and they said, stay away from him, he's nothing but trouble. So obviously that person and my mate started private messaging, yeah? yeah? And he was like, if you know where he lives or whereabouts he lives, let me know, and I'll go to his house. And the guy was like, oh, I don't, yeah, but... I do know he works at such and such. Yeah. So my mate was like, sound, I'll go there every day. It's literally like 10 minutes drive from me. So I'll go there every day and find, find out what car he's got. And then I'll just follow him home. And that's what he did. He followed him home, got his address. And then he just went back a few days later and he just banged on his door. He said, I've had enough of him. He's just, just bollocks all the time. Do you know what I mean? And it's just no good. Like, so you know, yeah. but um, if my mate has to drive all the way from North Wales down to his, which is like four, maybe five hours drive, um, he, he's not he's not going to be calm when he gets there because obviously he's uh, paying for fuel and uh, he'd be getting more angry as the miles go down. Like, mm. well, he doesn't. Your, Do your you friend truly has forgotten about it by now because it was a while ago. No, absolutely, no, absolutely not. 
he will not he will not let it go it doesn't matter like i like me uh i i won't let anything go you see because i'm too stubborn until it's sorted and it's sorted that's it do you know what i mean so it's um yeah it's it's a little bit of stubbornness in it that's what it is eh? well i won't condone uh any sort of uh of this type of behavior on the channel and it's definitely oh, no. something well, definitely not something we're into and we condone or i'm just asking no, no, questions I, about you know what what's going no, on no, with this guy you know, because I, it's, it's i, I it's, don't believe in it it's it's got to a serious level when people are ending up you know like getting that irate with him you know because it's like i've i've reported um him to the police you know because of what he did yeah but it just gets laughed at and it just gets thrown out every yeah. single time yeah every so this... single time not even once it's mm. every single time yeah you know but um like i i don't like bullies i can't stand bullies mate um so, no i mean the, the thing know. is my 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 modus operandi the way i deal with people as you've seen is it's kind of like i will explain publicly and i will do it here on a public platform you know what these people are if, like if he's walking around and he's watching mm. right drop a comment right in the <laughs> chat right he ain't gonna matt that. will email you right with the stream yard link come up come and talk right we're all men on this channel right even the women right we're all men right just come and talk, mate. Honestly, That's without being happen. a little keyboard, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a, a coward, mate. Warrior, mate. He's a coward. Yeah, he is. Jim. He's a coward. He likes sending but, messages to people, threatening them, and then ringing the police, oh, yeah. and then and then disappearing off, like so he doesn't get caught. You know, he's a coward. Yeah, but all I can say is like I, I'm only little, right? And you've seen how tall I am, right? And I'm not the biggest to build, right? But Come and threaten me, and see what happens. Yeah, he, dis he disappeared off I'm because not he, a he knew that he would be in trouble no. with the police for reporting it as a terrorist offence. So he walks off, doesn't he? Because he don't want responsibility for what he said. Because he yeah, would have said, "You're, it, the, you're every, the guy that yeah, reported what this." They say, what they say is every action has a consequence, hmm. right? Yeah, you need to learn, pal. Right before someone teaches you the wrong way yeah yeah um i'm not being funny right i wasn't brought up me i was dragged up yeah and i think that's why i have the attitude of i do not give a fuck right and i'm sorry for swearing mark but it's true that's yeah fine. fine right you know um uh, like I, I i shouldn't be swearing all the time but you know, right. there's certain things that just you, you just can't put a word to it that without not getting aggressive, but very stern. Do you know what I mean? And people need to understand that I'm not being an um, aggressive, but people need to be told, and they can't. You can't mistake my weakness, yeah, for my kindness, right? So you can't come over to me and start taking the piss out of me because it'll backfire and when it does if you play with fire your fingers get burnt mm. and, and i'm sorry if you wind a dog up mate and a dog bites you whose fault's that yours or the dog's mm. it's yours for winding the dog up right <laughs> look do you know what i mean look matt if you're watching right and you keep annoying mr vault all i'm saying yeah that's I mean, it do you know what I mean? it's end... not wanted here do you know what I mean it's not wanted anywhere do you know what I mean and it's like it's just annoying do you know what I mean it us. really is it's annoying for me because yeah. it's not the first time I've heard this this is about the third or the fourth time do you know what I mean and it's yeah. like it's getting a little bit annoying now do you know what I mean it's like you know how much hassle Matt did me and you get over those CCTV mm, quite a bit right and Hooper was and involved he in that. He it. was no Hooper was 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 sticking his oar in with that. You know, it's like all these yeah. little cockroaches, right? As far as I'm concerned, who sort of, you know, they have a problem with us. They just they're just sitting back waiting, you know, looking for ways to attack. Wanting to get oh, hold yeah. of wanting to get hold of home addresses or you know where does he live so we can we can 
put a report into yeah. the police and get the police to come around his house or something like that. I mean, what these people don't realise is, is, is that never going to come back on you? Do you honestly think that's never going to come back on the oh, person who's doing the reporting? Me. You know, because honestly, I mean, like, that is going to carry, that is going to follow you round now for what you've done, Mr. Hooper. That's going to follow you round till the end of time in Urbex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What you've done there you know, right, is frigging I'm... outrageous. And, and I think the best way to deal with it yeah. is, is not threats. It's just expose them like this. Expose them for what they are. Right. And well, let people does, know. It's just annoying. Them, but why, right? Yeah. Why should you waste like an hour, right? You've been on here for just over an hour, right? Yep. I'll tell you why I, right. why I do it. So, i tell you why, because I'm going to get paid <laughs> on the monetization for this. <laughs> and guess what? They do quite well, these videos slagging people off. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, but the thing is, right, it's like now you're, I'm not saying you're wasting your time, but do you know what I mean? You're spending now, say, two hours out of your time where you could be doing something productive. Yeah. And instead, you're talking at, about a piece of crap that's underneath your shoe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, and I, yeah. I just don't, I don't get it in the slightest because, like, you could be editing a vi video, you could be out exploring, you could be out walking your dog, you could be eating your tea. Do you know what I mean? You could be doing more productive things than sitting yeah. here talking about a low life. Do you know what I mean? And it's just, this, this isn't the first one we've had. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, You've already spoke about Benno. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You've already spoke about the Swindon spastic. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? How many more do we have to talk about before people get it into their head that if you carry on talking to us like a piece of crap, you're going to be... Well, well, we're just building this almighty file up. And trust me, right... We've done a lot of research, right, between uh, me and Mark before we do these live streams, and we know sort of what we're going to say before we even come on. Uh, and the biggest one, I think, was on my other channel, wasn't it? That was the last big one on... Um, what was that? That that just went ruthless, that one did. Oh, that right. was ruthless. Uh, I mean, what was that? The thing I can't is, even I mean, remember what it was. We can we can make we can make jokes and we can be rude and stuff like that. But you've got to. Yeah, there, there is a line, especially like you know, with because I mean I've I. Half an hour, okay. You can't you can't right, make. Take your plate, tidy any, up, and then go on the uh, PlayStation for half an hour. You know, you can call then people you names. Well. You can call people names, and you can do things like that. But yeah. you know, you can't you can't make threats. So I I mean I always like stop yeah. short of that. You know, irrespective of, uh, you know, what I'm hearing from people and what people are saying they're going to do in the background, I won't bring that on here, you know? So... I know, that's it, you know, but, like, I'm only telling you what mm. I've been told. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and it's not hearsay. It's uh, oh, my yeah. people that I get my info off are bang on normally. Do you know what mm. I mean? And it's like, oh, okay, you know, so... It, it's you know he will have his upcomings one day yeah when judgment day arrives i do not know i do not have a clue and even if i did have a clue i wouldn't be able to say anything anyway because it's nothing to do with me yeah like this whole conversation is nothing to do with me but it just seems to be that everybody around me just seems to do you know what i mean be getting all the hassle uh, yeah. um I'm just finding it not fair at the minute. Well, don't you worry too much about us. I mean, what, what I'm interested in is your your experiences from the past. Like, don't worry, don't worry about us now. The only reason the only reason this has come up now is because I finished editing the video because I couldn't be asked dealing with it for nine months. I've looked at it, and then you look at yeah, it, and I get good. I get ten minutes in, and I'm just like, oh god, because you know oh, it, it, it it pisses you off, like looking at like oh, yeah. looking at. Oh. And having to deal with it, you know. So all I'm interested really is that, that it's happened to a lot of other people in the past, and it's happened to yeah. your mate. You know, you know, you know all about it. You know, it's happened to Dan. It's happened to you. It's happened to your mate. Um, you know, he's full of himself in in just stirring up shit for people, and it's going to come back on him one day. Somehow, it's going to come back on him. Uh, but it, it's, it's definitely coming back on him here. 
you know? Okay. So, hey, yeah. Hey, I look. I say <laughs> hi, everybody. She's like this. Oh. She's, she just frowned then. She was like, Ugh. She's just frowning. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Say, <laughs> I'm Caleb, and I'm going to follow my daddy everywhere. Uh, we're going to go to the woods, and we're going to go camping. She's and looking like this. I'm not... I'm oh, not, yeah, he's like looking at you. I'm not interested yeah. in any of this. Oh, right, oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, the telly's on, right. Oh, that's far more interesting, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's like getting... Oh, right, I will be back after Dan's premiere. Thanks. Much love uh, to my brother from a mother, he says. That was Jackie. So I assume that's to you, Taffy. But... <laughs> Jack About who? From Jackie. Jackie Greens. Cats and things. Donated a fiver. But I don't quite understand the message. But yeah, she's off to see Dan's video. He's, he must be premiering. Look, it's four minutes time. I tell you what, I mean, I think I've said what I need to say on you, really. Um, yeah, man. Because, hey. you know, at the end hey. of the day, at the end of the day, really, this had to come Stop out. And I've fit, finally got the video done now. Oh, my God. Look, it's two of them. <laughs> I know. Twins, Mom. Bloody hell. Yeah, they are. Look. Look. Look on there. Look. <laughs> I don't want to look. look. I don't want to. No, look, I'm not interested. Hey, that, baby. <laughs> waving. Hi. No, not interested. <laughs> oh, oh, no, she's waving. She's yeah. waving. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see. <laughs> So she's not looking like all stressed, like but it's like this television yeah. is there. Television, it's like, he's taking me away from say, the TV. Say hello, Wait. Uncle Bob. <laughs> you monster. Anyway, we'll oh, have to we'll have to have a chat yeah, about some some sort of like if there's any of this that, that couldn't have been said, we'll have a chat about it afterwards. But I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of like uh, wrap this up a little bit now. But if you yeah, if you uh, on, but let Ruben go on the uh, PlayStation yeah. for half an hour, yeah. please, yes. and don't go out <laughs> the garden because Mum's gonna be back soon. Right. No, no, well, he said you wouldn't let him. Oh, oh we're going. I'll catch you later, mate. Have a good See night. See you, mate. Yeah. Cheers, <laughs> mate. <laughs> It's like oh, you could you could tell the baby was like taking an inhale breath. It was like, <laughs> and he was gonna come out any second. <laughs> oh God, I don't think I I can't handle I can't handle kids at all. It's like oh my God, it's just so much effort. My God, yeah. I, I take my hat off to people who have got like the patience for it, but yeah. Um, right. Okay. So where were we then? Right. There you go. Taffy is saying he's, you know, verifying that this this Matt Hooper has driven people absolutely nuts up there near North Wales, and I can confirm I heard that Matt Hooper was driven out of North Wales or. Wherever it is, Cheshire or wherever. I think it was Cheshire he lived, actually. Um, and this is what happened to him. Because he wound people up so much, he was given his marching orders. People just said, like, if you don't leave, it's coming on top. Now, that's what happened to him. So he moved from there, down south, and he's staying with his aunt, his auntie. You know, so Matt Hooper now lives and stays with his auntie because he can't stay up north because he caused so much trouble that he was basically given his marching orders. Now, the funny thing is that none of that seemed to teach him any lessons in kind of like, you know, being a bit more respectful to people and doing things that are a little bit more agreeable, you know, not ringing the police on people, which is what he's done to us, not threatening people. You know, things like that. But he's back to his old habits. This Matt Hooper has gone back to his old habits. And that's the point, really. So, yeah, I mean, no doubt in time, more of this is going to come out. I dare say we haven't seen the last of Matt Hooper. Um, 
we probably won't hear the last of, you know, me putting these videos up, telling people about him. But I will tell you now, if you're watching Mr. Hooper, it ain't going to make a blind bit of difference because these videos are staying up. And if they don't stay up on this channel, they go to my other channel. And if they don't stay up on that channel, they'll be going on the website. Right? So ultimately, you know, yeah, you've caused this yourself by your actions. Okay? And you just have to go and look literally to the end of your nose, right, to realise who's actually causing the problems for yourself. Okay? There we are. Tony Marshall says he's a grass. Yeah. Tony Marshall told a told a good joke a minute ago. He said, um, <laughs> "If you if if um, if I cut you if I cut your legs off, don't come running to me." <laughs> Something that was funny. Um, yeah, and somebody said, e "Danger Otter says you'd have to be a right twat to be driven out of somewhere." Oh yeah, there you go. So yeah, he has made a lot of enemies, and he seems intent on creating a few more. But it's going to come back on him. But I don't want to waste too much time. I, I, like I said, it's taken me nine months to get this video out because I just couldn't really be asked with it. You know. Um, yeah. So, ultimately, you've had it now. Unless I have to hear about him again, you know, then you won't, you, you won't be hearing about him again from me. And I definitely don't want to drive any more traffic across to his channel. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's not a very uh, not a very nice chap. So, you know, there we go. But I'm going to head off now, um, unless anybody else wants to come up briefly, but um, I'll put the link. Right, I will put the link in the channel down here, and we'll see if it's anybody wants to come up. Hang on. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. As it comes up right in the middle of the, the view. <laughs> so there's no way I could hide that really, is there? Um, there's the stream you're doing. But I'm, I'm definitely going to cut. I'm going to get off by about half eight maximum. Um, if nothing's happening, I'll get off sooner now in a, in, a, in a short while. But look. Oh, there's a new thing I can do. Look, create a poll. Should we do that? Create a poll. So we'll ask a question. How many... Uh, who, uh, how many think... Matt Hooper is a complete fucking Nazi. Complete Nazi. Right. Um, okay. And I say, ask my ad option. Ask your community. Um, uh, do you... Oh, I'll start off to say, do you think... Do you think Matt Hooper is a complete Nazi shithead? Right. Okay. So I say, ask the community. Right, so there we are. Do, 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 do. Now, how does this work now? I haven't seen it. Ask my community. So doesn't it appear on the actual chat then? Because I thought it appears on the chat and you can click it in the chat. Oh, there we go. There we are. Look. So what we'll do is we'll we'll stay for a little bit and we'll see what the... <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> see what people think on average. Well, we've got quite a few people on here, so we should have quite a few votes on this in a bit. But, yeah, we've got 410 watching. Oh, I feel a bit bad about, like, cutting it off early if uh, if people are watching. But what else are we going to talk about then? What are we going to talk about? So I, I think I've covered it all. You know, the Benno Hooper connection. Um, and I think it was important, really, because of the, the fact that this Benno stuff started happening. You know, where Benno ended up calling the police on me, you know, and causing a load of fucking shit there, um, that now you kind of see how all the pieces fit together. And that was another reason I, I wanted to get this out, is because, you know, you you need to understand all the names, all the, the, the people involved, and how it kind of links together. So there we are. Right, what's this uh, thing doing? So have a look at the top of the chat if you're watching. And um, yeah, so we've got 126 votes in. So I'll let it run for a bit bit longer. But it's kind of, uh, I think it's, a, it's quite, hmm. does it show you actually? Does it show you the votes as they're coming? Or do I have to actually tell you? Do I have to actually tell you what it is? 
because I can see it, but do you guys get to see it? Give us some angel, angels downstairs. Yeah. So anyway, I've been busy today. I've been uh, sewing, sewing up the crotches, the crotches of my uh, shorts, so that my uh, my genitals don't hang out when I bend over, which has been happening, and uh, sewing up other shorts. Uh, I think these had a big like hole somewhere. I can't remember where now, but it's like a, like a rip hole, um, so my arse cheek would hang out when I was wearing them. And of course, I grab them out of the washing, and I'm like, which one's which? Which ones have got the hole in? Well, actually, they all had really bad holes in them. So yeah, I've got 140. Oh, we see the tally, right? Okay. Yes, they they can see 142 votes, but it does it tell you who's who's voted what though? Yeah. Oh, there we are. 96%. Yes. Yeah, there we are. So people can see it. It's 96%. 95% think that Matt Hooper is a complete Nazi shithead. So there we go. Yeah. 4% is the statistical error. <laughs> 153 votes, yeah. So keep voting. Get your votes in. So, yeah. But it, it's sad, really, isn't it? That, you you know, people like this exist in, um, in these kind of arenas. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a shame. Because I, I honestly thought um, that Urbex would be about people sort of meeting people in these places and just saying like, all right, mate, yeah, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, you get in that way and helping each other out and sharing information and, yeah. Yeah. 161 votes now. Okay. They can just see the tally. Right. Oh, no, Punches Couches says he can see 94% and 6%, so he can see it. So I don't know, yeah, five percent now. So I don't know whether you can you can change your vote as you go. <laughs> yeah. The other percentage is him logging in and out of his account many times. It's unanimous. I think that people are agreed that. Yeah, we don't need people like that. And oh, it's gone to six percent now. Oh, they they're logging in via multiple accounts of theirs now. Yes, there we are. Yeah, Russell Jones says you'll get terrible people in every walk of life. But it's it's funny, though, because, I mean, I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. I wasn't expecting, like, petty jealousies between... I mean, I hear about it a lot, like, you know, channels who are jealous of other channels, you know? And you just think, like, God, can't everybody just get on? I mean, like, there's enough room for all these people. And if, the, you know, if one person likes one then watch that person but it's not like well i'll destroy these others so that i will get even bigger i don't think it works like that because if people don't like you they're not going to watch you so i don't understand why people are kind of like all about oh i've got to destroy this person thinking that it's somehow gonna help the world or help their views or you know really does it i don't think so um but yeah some people are like that so, yeah, so there we are. We're on 181 votes, and it's 94% say they think Math Matthew Hooper is a complete Nazi shithead. So there we are. Well, yeah, somebody's saying, Matt, do some local explores again. Actually, I should. There's some stuff that's local to me. I should. In fact, um, there's some really good stuff down the road, some crazily good stuff. I might get in a little bit of trouble for doing it. Oh yeah, they're all they're all trying to log in now, log in under their uh, like multiple accounts. Look, slowly and surely, you know they're sort of like logging out, logging in, coming back on, voting. Yeah, really. But I think we know by now if if you voted, you voted on your first account. These votes that are coming in late aren't real. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, um, but the stuff that I've got local to do. Um, I think they'll be going, why are you here? Why are you taking photos and video of where this is? And I'm not going to do anything wrong, but I think there's just going to be like, why? Why are you doing this? And it's like, well, because it's legal. So why not? You know, but we'll see. Yeah. 
he's got psychiatric problems, but Nazi is too much. <laughs> so well, shall I um shall I change it then? So I say if I change it to just shithead and remove the remove but two hundred people have voted yes. You see, so so like like they do agree that he's a Nazi shithead. You know, so there we are. I'll close the poll now then. End the poll. That's it. Does it actually... Oh, there we go, look. Do you think Matt Hooper is a complete Nazi shithead? 201 people, that's half the people I were watching, voted. 93% said yes. So, there we go. Now, Nanny of Many. Thank you for your donation. £4.49. That's an unusual amount, but... Uh, Thank you very much. £4.49. <laughs> oh, we're getting some messages coming in on the on the hotline. What have we got going on? Oh, that's good. Anything? Yeah, anything important? No, not really. But there we go then, folks. Well, we haven't had anybody coming in, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it and have a little break because 9 o'clock... I'm going to be busy, busy. Oh, hello. Oh, just as I said, it wasn't that we were going to get anybody. We get, we get the most, most important person in the world. B Face Computing. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, I'm just. I, I've gone. I, I've been driving somewhere because I'm planning on doing some all oh. overnight. So. Woo. Uh, I went in car when you sent me a. Uh, when you sent me that link to stream yeah i had you playing in car while i was driving so yeah you know i was like i was like glancing down at the screen watching you doing all your animations as you do when you're explaining stuff and then looking up and going, <laughs> oh shit <laughs> yeah. well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna quit it oh paul humphreys thank you for your 10 pound donation thank you very much very kind bear in mind folks if you donate via uh, youtube youtube take 50 percent of the money so if you do it via the little thing that's in the ticker tape scrolling across the bottom if you do it that way we get 100 percent of the money which does help you know but uh I, I hate to think that people are just throwing their money at youtube you know what i mean instead of it getting to where it's meant to go so b face are you going to do this thing tonight on your own or no nah, i'm meeting up with someone oh that's right then I was going to say because it's always best. To... I don't, I don't, I don't do lone wolf explorers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I think there's too much risk associated with them. Like if you fall or if anything happens, I mean you can always do the old usual trick of phone your mate up and say if I don't ring you within an hour. Yeah. It's even worse than phone police sort of out. But if you fall through a flower or something and you're bleeding out, and yeah. you've only been in there for five minutes and no one else is with you, you'll be dead by the time. For... So well, I always think it's best to take but, someone else. But of course, you know. we know we know where you are now. Where? Because you just put the street sign up, but it said Hanover Street. <laughs> so we know where you are. <laughs> it don't matter. Such a big <laughs> place, it don't matter. Yeah. Nanny but, of many is saying, oh my yeah. God, only 50%. Yeah, yeah. Because what it is, right, YouTube take 30%, right? That's straight away. They... they take 30 percent and that is the fees for handling the um super chat and then whatever's left over they tax and the tax is usually a quarter so it's 25 percent so when you add it up it's about 50 percent yeah no no kidding they take 50 percent of everything on those stream yard things it's, it's ridiculous so there we are so what what um will we can you say sort of roughly what it is that you're going to be doing because we're kind of interested Without giving too much away. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's it doing? Oh, you're back. Did you hear uh, what we were it's saying? Done some... No, I didn't hear. It's done something stupid. It's like sort of like Medit. So like the old internet browser on my phone's like a pop out window instead of like. Oh. That's weird. <laughs> oh, never mind. It'll have to do. Yep. Yeah, I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, just wondering, just wondering if you're doing anything exciting tonight on your explore. Are you just going to go and do a building or something, is it? I'm just doing some climbing and stuff tonight. Oh, cool. I Well, I've been stuck at home, haven't I, for the past two weeks because um, I started getting those symptoms and I, I thought, well, 
for the for the best, you know, to keep everyone safe, I'll stay at home for two weeks. I've just been, you know, I basically isolating until, like I said last time on call, until the fifth. Yeah, well, that's good of you. That's a good yeah. uh, good thing for you to do. But uh, yeah, so what? So have you got any thoughts on uh, what we were chatting about tonight? Because you know, we obviously talked about a lot, and uh, yeah, it got a bit little, oh. little, little bit uh, exciting with uh, a certain uh, mentions of certain things. But <laughs> we'll have to re yeah, probably well. re-edit this, you know, to take out <laughs> anything dodgy. Yeah, well, I think everything's been covered. Well, you, you know, like the main points. I've been all said about you and Taffy. So here's here's the thing though, right? Jordan was there, so he's he's a witness to everything that was in that video that I, I put out. Uh because we were at the bottom of the stairs and we ran to the end of a bunker, went up a different stairs and got out with my dog. So he was there as a witness and he, you know, we were watching from across the street all these police and all these police vehicles. There was a lot more than just the two you could see in the in the in the video, sorry. So he must have fucked off though. As soon as the police caught um, Ben and Glenn, he must have fucked off. Us. You didn't. We didn't see out of him when when Ben and Glenn were in, in shit. It's like it's like he he got. It, it's like he found the police, caused all of the shit, stood there, waited for the uh, waited to happen. for Ben and Glenn to, to get caught, and then went hey, shit. I don't want to see me. <laughs> yeah. run away run away that's it because we would have seen it wouldn't we because we were looking out for who was around and, and we were looking for like the police and we were we were really like keen-eyed on who was about he wasn't around yeah because we were scoping it out so remember we we're going to, can we get back to both of our cars and we were waiting for a gap and there were there were a gap to your car so we said it'd be less risky to just get your car for now and then, you know, go back to my car in two, three hours. Yeah. You know, because my car wasn't, my car wasn't hot. Like, people didn't know, oh, that's Jordan's car. And we were yeah. getting yours. So, at yeah, the that's time, right. we thought, well, it's best to just get yours out because yours is in the danger zone. Because if your car's there, there's a possibility you might come back to it morning vandalized or the police might have towed it away. Yeah. That's Mix right. Apart, you know. I mean, they'd already been like looking like crazy looking in through the windows and you don't know what he told them. Like, you know, why would they be so sort of like desperate to get in my car and look in through the windows? So what what's your feeling then? Because you your dash cam was what caught him there, like obsessing. What's your feelings on that then? You know, do you think it's him? Yeah, Def definitely. You can tell with his old body shape and how he's dressed. And if you if you know him, you know, like, what sort of clothes he wears and how he dresses. And you, if you look carefully, you can even see, like, his, his chest harness, is that particular chest harness that he wears. He's got either a torch you know. or a radio or something up here, isn't he, on his chest thing, yeah. Yeah. But it's like... Um, it's like... I, that, that you're so lucky that dash camera recording because that dash camera only recording because I have it wired in to a power bank and when I turn my car on it charges the power bank and then when I turn it off the power bank keeps it active because I've had times in the past where people have left marks in my car or damaged radiators and stuff and I've been like well I'm left here with a with a damaged radiator now because some pricks reversed into my car and driven off you know so if we didn't have that, I don't know. I don't know what we'd have done. We'd have just been walking about like, like he'd have been laughing. He'd have been like, be like, look at them, they're walking about, not having a clue. I had out to do with it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, he's denied. He's denied it. I mean, and uh, and said no, it was somebody else. But the thing is, he was sending. You know, he was sending photos to um, Benno uh, of my car and saying. Oh, you know, if I see you yeah, and Matt, yeah, because we were there at the time. We were yeah. there at the time. We, we, me, you, and Glenn, we'd all driven off, haven't we? And we we'd driven to a quiet, a quiet area of London where there were it was that park area, and we were all stood there like reflecting on the night, like we do in private. 
you're just like reflecting on what happened and blah 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 and then Ben's like oh he keeps sending me these pictures and he keeps he keeps saying this to me and that to me and this to me and we all just like well if he's causing that much of a problem right just block him once you block once you blocked him he can't do out to you he's he's, he's gone yeah. Oh, but I use it. I like need him for locations and blah 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 blah. I'm like, well, just look. Is it either causing you a problem and and it's causing you all this stress, and you're blocking, or oh, he's not causing you any problems and you're just gonna continue on with him? You know, we, we kept telling him that and he kept bringing it up every time he brought it up. We told him, you know. But the thing is, he was he was threatening but... he was threatening Ben that if he hung around with me, specifically me, wasn't it? You know, if he hung around with me, then it was going to be problems for Ben. You know, and this was Matt Hooper threatening Ben that he's not allowed to hang around with me. Now, I've never met Matt Hooper up to this point. You know what I mean? So, like, why yeah. is he having, why is he raging about me, you know, when I've never met the guy and I've got no, you know, i got no bloody um, dog in the race, as it were, like, you know? Why is he, why is he obsessing? Yeah. But that's it. I mean, maybe what maybe it wasn't was it not twenty four hours then till he sent stuff to Benno? Because I said to all of you, didn't I? I said, look, nobody say anything about arrests or police tonight to anybody, and let's see who surfaces first with information. Right? Can you remember I said that to you? I said like, let's just all be quiet. Yeah. And, and it wasn't even twenty four hours then, was it? Because I can't remember. I just remember that quite quickly he surfaced. Yeah, even woken up the next day. We hadn't even I hadn't even woken up the next day properly before before Ben was saying oh he's, he's said he said stuff about it you know yeah. so he couldn't Hooper even he couldn't even like he couldn't even hold himself back you know this Hooper he was like you know giving himself away by saying you know what happened last night then people being arrested have they well of course they have because you friggin rang the police you idiot. You know what I mean? And then, like, oh, it's nothing to do with me. But he didn't know about your dash cam, see? This is the thing, wasn't it? He thought, oh, nobody's going to know this is me because I've managed to do this and I've got away and people have been arrested and ha, 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 and they don't know it's me. And if it wasn't for Jordan's dash cam, he could probably argue, oh, it wasn't me. But he sent photos as well, you know, the, the same thing he was doing before, sending photos, making threatening comments, and he sent another photo that night... And it's like, well, who does that? Nobody else we know has ever done that. He's the only person who's ever done that. So he's kind of making it obvious it's him again. But then he goes, oh, it was a friend of mine took photos. Why would a friend of his take photos of my car? Why would a friend of his take photos of my car? And send them to Matt Hooper? It's just a little bit, you know, too convenient saying it wasn't him. Hmm. So there you go. You've heard it from the horse's mouth, people, right? This guy here, Jordan, has met Matt Hooper. He knows him. He knows what clothes he wears. He knows the types of stance and the way he walks. And that's him. That's Matt Hooper. All right, so that the person... The thing is, we, we, we wasn't even... Uh, when we were reviewing the dash cam footage, we wasn't actually reviewing it thinking someone's found police and said they were terrorists. We were reviewing it originally. We were reviewing that dash cam footage because we thought, oh, it'd be cool to get the video clips of the police coming down the road to add as an extension to the actual original Explore video, what everyone were going to release. So we thought, well, if we get the dash cam footage off, they can distribute it to everyone. And then when they do their introduction, they can at the end of it, they can show all the police coming down the road and all of that. But then I reviewed it and I'm like, there's, there's a bloke there and he's looking at He's looking at the car like half an hour before anything happens. And it's like, hang on a minute. So much yeah. not right about this. So that's when I started, I sent it out to, to you all. And I'm like, there's someone, of, someone that's going on here. Someone, it didn't just, the police didn't just turn up out of the blue. Someone actually. Oh. He's, uh, his screen's probably gone off. Hey, Ryan, how are you doing, Ryan Banff? But there you go. So, you know, Jordan is Jordan's got a better memory than me, uh, to be honest. It might be because he's a younger bloke, uh, but he's probably got a much better recall on certain things. Uh, what's happened? Here he is. He's back. He I can't keeps, believe keeps doing weird things. I can't believe how dark it's got in the what ten fifteen minutes we've been talking to you. 
That's crazy. <laughs> it, it does, doesn't it? That sun. Now it's getting closer and closer to winter. That sun drops like a bloody uh, brick. Yeah. And it gets to. <laughs> that is mad, yeah. Because it's almost like it looks like it's night now. Well, it's dark outside my windows. It's, you can just see a little bit of blue in the sky, but yeah. But there we go. Um, so you've heard it. You've heard it from the horse's mouth. You know, like Jordan knows what he looks like. And when they when they started zooming in on the footage, because initially, you know, of course, I'm you know, it, go for a oh, he's going to go for a second, right? Okay, probably needs a pee. <laughs> it's probably you know he's he's pissed off his screen is in this like weird mode so he's going to shut it all down and then log back in but there we are you know so yeah jordan i mean some people who who are asperger's they've got very sharp memories almost like sort of you know photographic memory sometime i'm not sure if jordan's exactly like that but uh benno is 30 jordan's 20 so, yeah. But I just think it's interesting that, you know, he's obviously looked at this dash cam footage thinking, oh, there'll be some fun footage on there. And then it turns out there's a bloke on it. And then when they zoom in, because um, it was actually Benno who did the, like, zoom in so you could see the the person quite clearly. And then they all, like, realised who it was. You know, so there you go. Yeah. So, just goes to show, doesn't it? Just goes to show. Well, we're coming up on half eight. I did say I was going to do a half eight cut off, but you know, if if Jordan comes back on, we'll see if he's got anything to say. But yeah, but there we go. Uh, he thought he was like nineteen. No, here he is, Mister Beefish. I must have spoken over you a million times. It's because like I'm getting really confused to what this phone is doing. It's like it's like I'm not even touching it, and it's like it's. It, one minute the wind, the browser's minimising, then it's shutting all together. Then it's saying I'm getting a phone call, and then I go to answer it, and it doesn't answer. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so I've rebooted it now. Ah, I've got <sighs> a little. I've got a little app. It's called like No Touch, I think it is. So you can keep the screen open, but when this app is active, you you can't touch anything on the screen. Your fingers won't do anything because when you're walking, it's very easy to accidentally touch a screen, and especially on curved screens. So yeah, yeah, but then there's a special way that you've got to you 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 can get this app to quit so you can touch a screen. There's a special way you have to quit it, but yeah, this is quite handy. So there we are then. So there you are. Go on. I still haven't been to that um to that place near 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 my house. What you uh, suggested to me, probably sealed now. Yes. I think if you if it's the one I'm thinking of, yeah, yeah, it was um, yeah. sealed the other day when uh, um, a couple of people went up there and they let me know it was sealed. So, yeah, I think uh, myself and uh, oh no, you were there. No, I, I'm thinking must be thinking of somewhere else then, um, because you were there with um, LK, and we went to that place, didn't we? Because we we'd been to Liverpool that day, and we went to the uh, Barclays Data Centre. I I was thinking, oh maybe see how bad my memory oh, no, is. Oh no, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about that place near A five oh six. Oh. In in North oh, London. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah that location. To be honest, mate. That you actually, suggested to me. And... Yes, yes, yes. Do you know what? I found footage of that, and it's been like that for about a year. But it, they, I think really? they start. I think they start to dem demolish something because those ru the rubble that was there, the rubble was new, but that has been open mm. fronted like that for about a year, and guess who's been up there already? Is Glenn? Glenn's already been up there and done it. He did oh, it. Oh, should have let me know. No, he did it like <laughs> he, he did it like a year ago. Oh, I thought you meant it, it would be like now. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> No, he did it like a year ago. He sent me his footage of it. It looks cool, man. It looks good. It's good up on the roof. Can you still get out late at the roof of it? I think you can, provided they haven't blocked the stairways. Mm. Yeah. So uh, we'll have to do that one fairly soon. I wouldn't mind having a go at that. I wouldn't mind coming out 
some and doing something like next week. Yes, anyway. well, if, you, if you're back around now, yeah. then we'll uh, we'll sort something out. I won't be back around till next week. Oh, you know. you're still up, still up north, is it? Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm Don't say cities up north at the minute. <laughs> yeah, fair shout. Yeah, it looks like but, there's a lot of high rise stuff around you. So yeah, you can have fun tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna be like just climbing up stuff and being a monkey for a couple of nights. <laughs> <laughs> good, good for you. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> But when you sat at home for two weeks, it's like, you know, you get like, oh, there's nothing to do. Oh. But then at the same time, you don't really want to commit to a meet up with your mates because you don't want to like, just in case it is COVID, you don't want to pass it on to them. So you're like, well, I've got these symptoms, so I'm going to wait the full two weeks. But, yeah. you know. Yeah. <sighs> Well, good for you. So, anything uh, else you want to share about that that video that that comes to mind? You know, if you sort of like before we finish it, because I'm probably not going to really bring this up unless, of course, he he rears his ugly something head. Something happens. Yeah, and you know, yeah. we we end up having to talk about it again. Um, I don't know. All I remember of it is that Ben and Glenn had gone back up to to van or summit to get some replacement drone batteries because he was flying his drone um through the tunnels, wasn't he? And um on the way up the, the went out and obviously we're at the bottom upstairs and we hear this barking and I, I couldn't make out what the voice was saying but it sounded like very authoritative like it was like they were issuing a command like 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 a like an authoritative command were being issued. Yeah. Um and then obviously we heard the barking and you had your dog on you at the time. So you obviously didn't want your dog to get injured. So then we were like, right, let's try and remain calm. Let's walk away from where we've heard the noise to buy ourselves some time. And let's think about what we're going to do. And we were like saying, shall we hide? Shall we try and get out through the other way? Shall we blah, 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 blah. But in the end, we got out through that other way. And all I remember is looking back down the alley and the police obsessing about your car and we were trying to like determine when the best point was to go out because we didn't want to make ourselves as presence known immediately so we were waiting for the officers to walk away from your car to get you know um to your car and then it was when we all reunited back at that park that were when we found out that the that the thought they were all terrorists, and that were when we thought that were when we first started suspecting. Well, why would they think we're terrorists? Why why would they think that? Blah 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 blah. blah. And that's when we first started questioning the situation. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh, did Did Glenn pay his COVID fine in end, or did he just let it drop? I think he paid it. Oh. He paid it, and it, and you know, it's sad, really. Um, they were both given COVID fines, but but um, because uh, he was no fixed abode, I don't think they were able to give Ben a one one because he claimed he was no fixed abode. He's not no fixed abode, but he claimed he was. So uh, yeah. they could they weren't able to give him one. Yeah, <sighs> but. Well, so he got out of that, but Glenn just admitted where he lived, and and then they gave him one. You know, they don't listen to they don't listen to what you're saying anyway. They just give out those fines no matter what, like. So. Yeah. Yeah. So there we are, right? Well, so. I think we've. I think you've pretty much covered everything then. Yes. Somebody said uh, you've got a very good uh, memory. They said, and I said, yeah, he's probably got a better memory than me. And sometimes people who've got Asperger's have got very good memories. So, are you? Would you class yourself as having a, a sort of like very good recall? Well, for me, it like when I'm thinking back to a situation, it like it's like playing back a YouTube video. So, like I get lots of visual cues in my mind. So, my mind will show me a, a visual picture of the bottom of the staircase, and then that'll trigger like you know my memory and get it going. And then like when I'm talking about us peaking 
I actually get like the adrenaline feeling of when we were there and we were looking and my mind like paints the picture of us like walking down the street with your dog like looking, you know? Yeah. So that sort of like that that's probably why. I left Jordan I with the details. I left Jordan with my camera. I hid the camera, didn't I? I said because I don't want the footage getting nicked. So I hid the camera in a bush. Jordan had the dog. And then it was like, right, I'm going to make a dash for it here. Like when this police officer gets out of the way and it was like, oh, look, he, look, he's going around the lane. Quick, now, now. And it's like, <laughs> you know, it's like. Oh, scarves. yeah. And didn't, didn't Ben and Glenn say that the police went back out of the lane and they're like, his car's gone. Is it like acting like really panicked that your car were gone? <laughs> can, you, can you remember? Yeah. They were pissed <laughs> off because we beat them. We beat them. <laughs> it was classic oh. it was a classic and then of course i went around picked up jordan got the car got the dog in the car jordan in the car and then we were just driving around them waiting to hear from glenn and benno when they were released from the police and eventually we we uh picked him up and then we heard all the stories then and glenn poor bastard he was he was driving his works van and um he went through one of these like narrow chicanes or something he went around the corner and it, you know, like these roads, they narrow down to slow you down. And he went through one of those and he slammed his bloody wheel on his car. And I don't think it was drivable then, was it? Was it drivable or was it? No, he snapped, he snapped the wishbone on the bottom of his car, didn't he? And he had to leave the vehicle there. And I think I took him home, didn't I? Yeah, oh, no, 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 actually, no, he, no, he, he, he had a breakdown cover. He, he had breakdown and he called a guy because we waited with him, didn't we? We were there for hours waiting for this breakdown guy to come. And the guy said, I'm just round the corner. And half an hour later, he's like, well, where are you? And he goes, well, I'm just round the corner. He's like, well, you were just round the corner half an hour ago. Because he, he, he told us he was in the street. And we looked him up and he was literally in the next street. Half an hour later, he's in another street, but like only like walking distance from where we are and, he's going, and this guy said oh, i can't find a way to where you are i can't find a way and we're like mate you were like right by us you know he's like oh, i can't do it i don't know where, where you are and then this guy eventually turned up and he got glenn's vehicle on the back of the lorry or whatever it was and that was it it, it reminds me of those um it reminds me of those people who go who you'll go ah oh, are we um you know they'll go are we, are we meeting up in Birmingham today? And they'll, and they'll go, are we still meeting in Birmingham today? Yeah. Well, where are you? Are you all meant to be here at 10 o'clock? And they'll go, oh, I'm just on M6 now to come off at next junction and I'll be there. But they're not on M6. They're still all way, you know, all way down at bloody, uh, they'll be down at bloody Liverpool or something, setting off, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, and then you ring them back up and they go, oh, where are you now? Oh, I'm stuck in traffic. Oh, there's lots of traffic. There's so much traffic. I'm, <laughs> I'm stuck in it. I think I'm going to be like two or three hours. And you go, all right then, mate. Look on Google Maps. There's yeah. no traffic according to Google Maps. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cara is saying that you're very astute. She said she wished she could have seen us steal the car back from the cops. But I'd hidden the camera because I, I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk having my phone, my camera, and everything. I think I, I might have left my phone behind even. So I just didn't want them getting my stuff. We yeah, hid you did. It. I, I, I got rid of all the stuff that I know they would just they just take it off you, you know? And it's like, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think what you, what you what literally happened is you gave me all of your electronic devices and you just, you literally just went because... We were, we were talking and we didn't actually know if it was if it said terrorist or whatever. We thought that, they'd, you know, we didn't know that at that time. Yeah. So um, we were like, well, uh, we were both saying to each other, we were like, I think it's a bad idea walking down a stereotypical urban, urban explorer without camera on a massive gimbal. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was an interesting night, you know, because of it, but, but it was bollocks and really, you know, it ruined, it ruined, we, we didn't do anything else that night. We could have gone and done something else, but it was just like so much shit had gone on. But I mean, on the one hand, it's, it's an interesting story. It's just a shame it has to be an interesting negative story, you know? Because I mean, you know, if it had just been the police and no, no nonsense with somebody calling the bloody police and saying we were terrorists. It would have been a, 
an interesting explore where we got away from the police, you know. But with all this other shit going on, it was like, oh, you know. When it when you look back at it now, I'd rather I'd rather have just have not had had this Matt Hooper situation at all. That would have been that would have just been much better, really. But yeah, some people have uh, got it in for other people, haven't they? So that's it. Yeah, some people just won't rest until they see uh, people who are succeeding suffering. You know, they just yeah. they just have it in. They just jealousy I suppose yeah well maybe a bit of anger for the fact that you didn't speak to him when you left that bunker he's probably like he didn't speak to me I expected him to speak to me and he did not speak to me right he's as bad as all the others he's now on my enemy list take pictures of his car you know yeah yeah it's funny that isn't it I mean like I'm wondering like what 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 triggered him and you know was it sim something as simple as that? Like, you know, that I didn't speak to him, you know, and it pissed him off because he <laughs> he thinks he's some sort of, like, massive sort of name and I should know who he is or whatever. But the thing is, it takes two to tango. The guy said, like, it, he said to Alex and, and, and those, and we were only seconds apart. Like, I mean, I walked past him and, like, said, all right, mate, and about 10 seconds later, like, Steve and Alex walked past and the first thing he said was, was that secret vault? Was that secret vault? And he went, yeah. And he went, oh, I'd really like to have a word with him. They could have said, they could have gone, hang on, Matt, Matt, come come here. And I would have walked back down the stairs. But see, you know, it's like, it takes two to tango. If you're, you know, if in this world, if you see a famous person in front of you, if you don't go up and ask them for their autograph or a photograph, right, you can't complain, you know, you can't complain after <laughs> they that. they didn't respond. You know, it's like, <laughs> You know, like if you're just standing there like a lemon looking at them, they don't know you want anything. They're not going to come over and speak to you. You know what I mean? It's like I didn't know this guy. I didn't know who he was, you know, and I just went, all right, mate, you know, because I was acknowledging he's, he's in the bunker. Great. But I just thought, well, that's it, you know, and, and just carried on walking. Like if he wanted to say something, he should have said it. So, you know, um. And the other thing I think is rather sad as well, and a lot of people don't actually realise this, I um, I did say it on Alex's stream last night, what people don't realise is that a number of these bunkers in London, right, like, we told people they were there. So Hooper got to know that this bunker was open and he could go and visit it because of me and a couple of other people, right? That's how he got to find out that the bunker was there in the first place, right? So... I mean, for him to then do this, like, shitty behaviour of, like, if you come to this bunker again, I'll call the police on you. Trying to act like the bunker bunker's his, you know, or his territory, or we're not allowed in, and you know, in his, in his thing, you know, like, he's going to control it. What he doesn't even realise, but I, I'm making it quite clear now, is that he wouldn't have got in that bunker had we not been in there first... And not publicised it by putting the videos out on the channel and leaving it for as long as we could, telling as many people as we could, right, that it was there. So that was the whole reason he was there. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be at all surprised if that night that he was there, right, which is only a couple of nights after that place was found to be open, right, was he probably found out it was there because of Benno telling him. And who told Benno? me probably through jordan so i i you know i've got to call it how i see it but it's it's just shitty it's like saying you know like somebody's just um been given a given a like a, you know a ticket to the world cup and then they go in like yes yeah, screw screw the world cup and screw the people who gave me the ticket and then they find out that it was actually their mate gave them the ticket and they're like oh oh you know, because it's like, well, hang on, you know, like, you're slagging off the people who were giving you the ticket, yeah, and it turns out to be your mate, yeah, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of trying to get across here, is like, he wouldn't have probably been in that bunker if it wasn't for us having made it, made people aware that it was open, 
because we were the first ones in there. Yeah? So, yeah, it's just it's just pathetic, really, isn't it? But anyway, I think Mr. Beefrace is probably, uh, he's got an animated, um, he's got an animated thing here. It must be a GIF, because his, his thing was flashing and they went up. Unless it's something else. I didn't know you could have an animated... Oh, hang on. Hang on. What's so, going on? Sorry, I had, to, I had to answer someone's call, so I had to drop out for a second. I'm going to have to go now. But, um, yeah, my but mate you're, one meeting. you're in twice, though. You're in the. You're also up above luck. Yeah, it's because of him. It's glitched out. I'll, I'll remove minute. you, then. I'll remove you. <laughs> <laughs> so, hang on. Yeah. I'll just say kick. Kick from studio. There we are. Oh, right, okay. There you go. So, all good. Um, yeah, I did, did you catch what I said? It's like, it's, it's funny that I was one of the first people in that, that um, was it called Clapham North or something? One of the first people in there, and I kept it quiet to, just to Urbexers so that they could get in there. He probably found out about it from Benno because I told Benno and Glenn it was there. Right, so they could be the first people to get in it before anyone else. So they could get to see it. It hadn't been open for years, and I told Ben and Glenn that it was open, and like go and get in there. And that's a, I would imagine. I'm guessing that's how Hooper found out about it. And it's rather perverse and sick to think that after you do something that helps somebody get in somewhere, and they're attacking you for the fact that oh. My bunker, you stay away from my bunker, mine. It's like, really? You wouldn't even be in there. And there you are with your mates, taking photos, inviting people down and taking your mates there, right? And it's like, yeah, thanks to me, yeah? And then you, you're, having a, you're having a go at me, you know? So, yeah. Mm. So There's yeah. a lot of simpletons in this Urbex community, but I suppose... We just have to like cherish cherish the um, the friendships that are the successful ones and that are that's right not the simpletons you know yeah we've got to try and ignore these people but yeah at least we know now at least we know everyone knows you know like be very careful around that particular person and uh, you know what more can we say I mean. All right then, Mr. Jordan. Well, I'll let you go now because it looks like you're hanging around. So yeah, we we won't keep you. Well, my mate turned up. My mate turned up like a minute ago, and he and obviously it's a it's a bit awkward to just leave your mate stood there. No, stood you, there you in go. Silence 